Today, we will talk about conditional value at risk, CVR. Conditional value at risk, also known as the expected shortfall, is a risk assessment measure that quantifies the amount of tail risk an investment portfolio has. CVAR is derived by taking a weighted average of the extreme losses in the tail of the distribution of possible returns beyond the value at risk (VAR) cutoff point. Conditional value at risk is used in portfolio optimization for effective risk management. If an investment has shown stability over time, then the value at risk may be sufficient for risk management in a portfolio containing that investment. However, the less stable the investment, the greater the chance that VAR will not give a full picture of the risks, as it is indifferent to anything beyond its own threshold. Conditional value at risk attempts to address the shortcomings of the VAR model by quantifying the expected losses that occur beyond the VAR breakpoint. Since CVR values are derived from the calculation of VAR itself, the assumptions that VAR is based on will affect the value of CVR. The CVR formula is the average of the values that fall beyond the VAR, calculated by taking a weighted average of the possible returns beyond the value at risk cutoff point. Investments like large cap US stocks or investment grade bonds rarely exceed VAR by a significant amount. However, more volatile asset classes can exhibit CVARs many times greater than VARs. Financially engineered investments often lean heavily on VAR because it doesn't get bogged down in outlier data in models, but there have been times where engineered products may have been better constructed and more cautiously used if CVR had been favored. Here are three key takeaways. One, conditional value at risk is derived from the value at risk for a portfolio or investment. Two, the use of CVAR as opposed to just VAR tends to lead to a more conservative approach in terms of risk exposure. 3. The choice between VAR and CVAR is not always clear, but volatile and engineered investments can benefit from CVAR as a check to the assumptions imposed by VAR. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.